We're going to try something a little bit different today. We're going to try to abstract the landscape. And we're going back to one of my favorite spots where there's a lot of submerged logs. But instead of putting in a lot of detail, we're just going to distill it down to the basic shapes and see how well we can at getting it to become more of an abstract painting. All right, let's go check it out. All right, the first thing we want to do is get the sketch in. And our goal is to keep it abstract. And I'm going to have a high horizon. I'll see if we can catch some of this light. Just a short interruption. I just want to say thank you for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. And to introduce you to my new venture called Artful Minds. It's intended for the artist's artistic development and growth. Essentially, it's for artists who really want to take their artwork to the next level. We do this through our weekly skill development exercises, along with our open studio office hours, where you can come and ask me anything. We also have monthly critiques where you can get up to two paintings critiqued every month. And we also have our monthly challenges. In addition to this, we have two monthly inspirational discussions with artists from around the world. And so far, they've been quite fantastic. If you'd like to check those out, go to community.artfulminds.ca under the open studio area. But if you're interested in joining Artful Minds, check us out at artfulminds.ca. Thank you. Cheers. Now the key to abstraction is just defining the large shapes. And really, that's all I'm doing here with these grasses. A little bit of the reflection, you'll see me move the logs from the reference photo into the composition a little bit more to suit what I want them to do. And that's more or less all you really need. So I got one, two, three large shapes and I'm gonna be putting the first shape here with the background grasses, really dark value. And I'll come in and I'll adjust the value a little bit, not too much, but more of the temperature. And only then I'll move into the grasses that are on the left, a little bit forward, I'll lighten those up, keep them a little bit warm. I do add a little bit of variety in those as well, but I just mass that in as one big large shape. Then you'll see me do the same thing as I go into the water here while keeping the uh, focal point in view. And that focal point is going to be that white area. It's going to be where the water is the most vibrant, not just in saturation, but in value. And I block in this large value mass of the water and I cool it with ultramarine blue in the lower left hand corner. And so it has a gradation from cool to warm as you progress into the painting. Now I'm just treating the logs as a smaller shape and then I put in the focal point as one shape as well. It's a subdued ochre and you'll see me increase the value as time goes on. And so you can see as I progress my shapes are just getting a little bit smaller each time but they are actually quite large compared to the object themselves. So I put that log in in three shapes and they're going into the focal point again adding a little more highlight making sure my eye gets drawn up there and then I'm going to work on the rest of the shapes that I see and the shape size are all relative to the objects. And keep in mind too, edges are very important. Keep them soft, keep them loose. Don't worry about tightening up the edges until you have to. Moving into the shadows of the logs underneath the water. Adding a little bit of variety. And the variety is there through temperature and value. Adding some reflections into the water to get a sense of reality. but I'm not making them detailed, right? They're just there for reference entirely. Now, here's the piece of resistance is where I really highlight that focal point with the glimmer on the water, that ochre water. And really that's all the painting is, is about driving you up to that focal point on the top left hand side where that water is sparkling. And here I'm just making minor adjustments, putting a few more logs underneath the water, creating a little more interest. And I put this tree in the right hand side to stop you from wandering off to the edge too far. I kind of probably could have done it as well by just darkening the grasses on that side, but I thought it'd be interesting to add the dead tree in the water there. Give it more vertical element into the painting instead of having it mostly horizontal. Adjusting the logs for the values. And I usually do this by concentrating my eyes attention onto the focal point and seeing in the painting where it needs some adjustments. With this painting, I just want to show you how to do the abstract shapes within the landscape and how much detail you really don't need. It's all about value, masses, and concentration of interest towards your focal point. And I think we've achieved that. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to get notified, hit that bell. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>